Hi everyone, this video we will discuss indicator variable and uh, interaction expansion in Stata. So when we run regressions, we will run into ordinal variables such as race, which can, in this case, the race can only be white, black, or Hispanic. Why do we need to transform indi uh, ordinal variable into indicator variables? The problem is that the value of the indicator of the ordinal variable does not has any intrinsic meaning. Okay, for example, I can assign value one, two, three to white, black, and Hispanic. I can also assign value one, ten, one hundred, uh, and one hundred to white, black, and Hispanic. For the purpose of distinguishing these three ethnic ethnic groups, e either each uh, rule is okay. However, if we dump them into Stata and run regression on race, how you assign the value to each ethnic group will change your result, which is kind of silly. So, to avoid such kind of st stupidity, we need to transform ordinal variable into indicator variables. For example, in this case, race can be decomposed into three indicator variables white, black, or Hispanic. The white, the variable white, takes value 1 if the respondent is indeed white, takes value 0 otherwise. Similarly, black takes value 1 if the respondent is actually black, and takes value 0 otherwise. Notice that actually I only need two rather than three indicator variables to completely characterize the variable race. To see this, let me, let's do a thought experiment. If I know you are not white and not black, then you have to be Hispanic. Right, so the omitted, so in this, in this case, the Hispanic is the omitted group is omitted from the analysis, which we will refer to as reference group. By default, Stata omits the first value of the variable as reference group. Now we finish our short introduction to the analysis problem of the ordinal variable, and now we are going to use the interaction expansion function stata, which is xi and i dot, to do some examples. I'm going to use a simulated, a simulated data set, which is available online, and here is web links. Alright, so we are going to run a few regressions, and I'm going to talk about how you would interpret the coefficient of the regression. In this regression, I'm running gender against lo uh, log income. When you put x i comma a co colon in front of your regression, Stata knows that whatever comes with i dot is a indicator variable or an ordinal variable for that purpose. Uh, the value of that variable has no intrinsic meaning other than distinguish different items in that variable. So what they did is they generate the indicator variable from the ordinal variable for you with a certain naming convention. It was underscore i, mean, which means this is generated as an indicator variable, the name of the ordinal variable, and the value of the ordinal variable this indicator variable is made from. In this case, gender takes two values. That's why we only need one indicator variable to completely characterize uh, the gender. And furthermore, in this case, zero is female and one is male. So the coefficient before the indicator variable is the difference between two means. 
what do I mean by that? The coefficient means the difference between male and female is 12 percentage points. Now let's look at alternate variable that takes more than two values. Let's use race. So we do the same thing and uh, you can you can see that naturally the first value which is one is omitted and that will become our reference group in this case the reference group is white uh, race one is white race two is black race three is hispanic and race four is asian so all the coefficient is the difference of that particular group compared to the reference group so value two a value for the coefficient i raised to is the difference in earnings between black and white and black is 13 percentage points lower than that of the white uh, so in general the different the indicator variable tells us something about the difference in means uh, however when you interact uh, indicator variable to continuous variable, it's no the, the coefficient between the interaction term is no longer difference in means, but difference in slope. To do that, use times to link our interval variable with a continuous variable. Once you do that, Stata generates a new variable called i uh, underscore i gender which is shorthand for GEN which is shorthand for gender times experience so essentially now we have two coefficient for slopes in this case the coefficient of the original experience variable is a slope for the reference group here the reference group is female so that means on average the female group have around 0.8 percent return for each year of their experience however the slope for male is the sum of the slope for female and that of the difference in the slope so which means for male the slope uh, the return for one additional year of experience is 0.08% plus 0.09% comes up at 1.7% other than in interacting a continuous variable with a original variable you can also interact two original variables and by do that you have to indicate to Stata both of them are and indeed alternate variable. So here you can see that Stata generates three more variables other than race and gender, which will is essentially the interaction terms. At the end of the video, I want to show you how you can change the reference group because sometimes we just don't want to have the first value as the default reference group to do that you type in char the variable name for example gen race then type in the value you want to omit say 2 now when I run regression Now when I want regression, you can see the value 2 is omitted from the regression and now everything is compared to the reference group of black. That's why white is 13% more than black, which is essentially the same as here, just reversed inside. Thank you for watching this video.